All right, Stafford here with Adventure Kiteboarding to show you the new 2014 Nobile kiteboards. Uh, usually the Nobiles don't come out in the U.S. until the spring, but we got some specially shipped over from Poland for you this fall. I want to start with the largest board and we'll work our way down. This is the Nobile Flying Carpet. This is the light wind board. It's huge. It's a 160 by 46. As a board, it's pretty light actually, really light board, very flat, very little rocker but still has flex tips so you won't get sprayed in the face if you do go out on a little bit of chop so you can see some of the flex in the tips there also some flex in the board so it's not just a big heavy wooden plank that's going to hurt your feet and bash up your knees but if you really want to go in light wind this is the board to have they're just dynamite for riding in lighter wind a slightly slightly smaller more high performance version for a little bit better chop riding and jumping is the Nobile XTR. XTR stands for extended range. You can see this is an asymmetric board so that your toe side has a little more uh, rounded edges which makes it a little easier to ride in. So this is your toe side. Uh, this board has a little bit more rocker. It has a 3D top deck so it's shaped on the top deck to give you again flex tips but a little stiffer board for more pop. Comes in two colors. Nobile does these cool cutouts so you can see the wood through the board so you know you're getting a high quality wood product and not some sort of press board funkiness. And it's a, uh, actually a little bit of a metallic bass boat kind of, but not, not too strong so it looks like a total bass boat, but enough that you'll be able to catch this and see it in the water. This particular one is a 143 by 48. It also has the honeycomb carbon so you can see that on the top deck. The little window there will show you the honeycomb carbon. Comes in two colors. This is the other color, which is almost like a prismatic color. It goes from blue to green to purple. Um, obviously, you want to be you know thoughtful about what kind of water you ride in, so the board doesn't hide in the waves if you fall off and lose it. But um, it is kind of cool that it's prismatic like that. And of course, all the Nobile fins and foot straps are uh, sort of a high visibility orange. So that helps you find your board. And again, the XTR has the carbon cross bracing, the windows on the bottom so you can see um, the nice wood. It's a really nice looking board here. And uh, this again is a 140 by 46. All right. Getting a little smaller, the Nobile NHP, which is Nobile High Power. This is their sort of meat and potatoes board. This is a 131 by 40, but we have all the sizes. Again, a real nice uh, wood window, so you can see the wood through the board. Honeycomb carbon with the carbon stringers to give you some stiffness. Still has some flex in the tips, but it's a pretty stiff board overall. I would say not as stiff as some brands, but as far as the Nobiles go, this little stiffer is going to give you better pop. Asymmetric shaping, so the toe side is a little easier to ride. Heel side is a little more squared off. There is some nice rocker to the board, and there are also four channels in the bottom, so it gives you a little bit of uh, ability to break up the chop, so when you ride through it, it's a little smoother. That board comes in two colors, but we're only stocking yellow for now because we want it to be a high visibility board, and we don't want anybody losing their nice board. These things are like, really our performance art. All right, this is the 2HD, which is for double hydrodynamic. This is the top of the line free ride board for Nobile. The rocker is very similar to the NHP. The difference is that the bottom is just a, a double hydrodynamic concave. So it's a concave that runs elliptical from the length and it gets wider towards the middle of the board. There's no carbon stringers in the X bracing, but there's still the honeycomb, which you can see in the windows. It's pretty cool because in the light, if you put the sunlight behind the board, you can actually see through the honeycomb. It's pretty cool. And then obviously some nice high quality wood there. Flex tips, but a stiff board overall. And what you get here is a nice large surface area to pop off of. So this is really the, the big air monster board. And the other really high-end board, the other really high-end board in the Nobile lineup is the 5050. The 5050 is the closest thing to a freestyle board you'll get at a Nobile. It's, uh, you know, you could take to the, to the cable park if you wanted to, but um, we have a nice uh, shaped bottom, again with sort of four channels there, 
You can see the wood through the bottom of the board, so they do some clear panels. And a little bit rounder tips, so a little more forgiving in the chop, the waves, and if you land off-center. But a uh, good amount of rocker, a good strong board. All the Nobile boards are warrantied for two years, so um, you've got a, a better warranty than almost any other brand out there in the market. This is also drilled for wake style boots, so if you wanted to put wake style boots in or regular uh, kiteboard foot straps, you can go either way. And uh, matte finish on the top, gloss on the bottom. And this is a Nobile NBL, which is the uh, most affordable board in the range. We've completed it out with the foot straps for you just to see how this works. Um, this is a single concave board. Uh, high visibility colors, looks good. I mean, this is a board that basically says, you know, take me uh, to the Caribbean, let's go ride in this winter. Foot straps are real easy to put on with the quick release system. So if you need to travel with this board or you need to pack it into your car, foot straps go on and off just like that. Uh, they just quick release and tighten down, and that's it. And the same thing with the handle. You can just pop this on and off real easily. All of the Nobile boards have this feature but we only put this one together for you to see. So it makes it real easy, real quick to put together. And if you wanted to, you can still do the bolts because it comes with the bolts, but that just makes it easier to do. Um, so you can see on this end, we put the bolts in. On these foot straps, we left the quick releases. So if you're traveling and you want to just pack it up quick or you got to throw it in the back of the car, or you kind of want to ditch it out of sight, you're in a, you know, not the safest car to leave your board sitting out for people to see. Maybe you take everything apart and you hide it in your bag. But foot straps are very comfortable. There's pockets under here of air, so when you land, take some of the, the uh, impact off. Nice, easy to assemble foot straps. They basically are just two big Velcro straps. But what's nice about it is the plastic part that goes on the board is away from your foot on the top of the foot strap, not on the bottom. The foot strap itself also has a cutout on the side, so that when you really reef down on the foot strap, the foot strap padding will go down and, and be against your foot and you will not be feeling those tongues. The plastic tongues will not be against the side of your foot. That's the uh, Nobile NBL. And then last we have the Nobile Snow Kite Board. Um, snow kiting, if you're in that kind of environment you want to take a trip somewhere where you snow kite, you'll know that for snow kiting you generally want a board with less side cut and less rocker, and that's exactly what this board is. Very little side cut, almost no rocker, and it has some edging, which is uh, they call the Z edge, but what is similar to a LibTech uh, magnet traction without impinging on their patent. So it's a similar kind of concept, but just gives you a little bit more edge for you to ride on. And obviously these being a European brand in Northern Europe, lots of people ride Nobile snowboards. So we have these in three sizes as well. This is the smallest one at 144. So if you're interested in any of these boards, give us a call at Adventure Kiteboarding 414-367-WAVE. Uh, you can also email us at info at adventurekiteboarding.com or check out our website. All these boards are on the website at adventurekiteboarding.com. Thank you.